it's an opportunity for me to possibly go out there and get you know 500 bats, get yeah. to play every day, yep. um, you know, and that's that's something that the Matt said to me when both of them left, like, hey, like this is your opportunity, like yeah. do, do you and be yourself and just trust it, you know, stay on top of things and, and and go do it because you have it in you. I know I have it in me. It's just staying healthy and staying on top of it and um, staying focused. And, I, and I'm looking forward to that and I'm looking forward to an opportunity where you know we we have lost Chappie, who's the vocal leader. We have lo lost Oli, who is the guy that everybody just looks to and how he goes about his business because he's quiet and he just goes about yep. it every single day the same way. And, um, you know, I feel like I'm a little bit of mesh of both of those. Um, not as vocal as Chappie and not as quiet sometimes as Oli. <laughs> um, so I'm excited for that. Like, I, I, I really am. Like, I get butterflies in my stomach when I think about, like, all right, like, we have a new challenge here, and it may be different, and we may have different faces, but um, it's still exciting. Like, it's an exciting time. I, like, I, I look back at in 2016 when we came up, or in 17 when all the young guys came yeah. up. Like, it's, it's a new wave, and I can remember what that felt like you know it's not that long ago yeah. you know but um you know it's exciting it's an exciting feeling because you, you you can sense the opportunity you can sense the opportunity with everybody that's coming in this clubhouse for sure and when you have guys that are hungry for an opportunity and when everybody understands that winning is the one thing that keeps you here and you bring all that together you have an opportunity to do something special. It may not always work out. It may not be perfect, but it, it, it's an opportunity for a bunch of new guys and some older faces to come together and, and do something fun and do something special. Stu, you were saying before we cut you off there? I've been waiting for this opportunity for him to yeah. get the chance to play a single position. Right. All year long. <laughs> yeah, all year right. long. Right. For as long as I can remember. And when we talk about Chad Pinder, what, what comes to mind is that it really didn't matter where he played, if it was right field, center field, or left, shortstop, third base, or first or second. He played well if he's in the lineup, and he did things that were impactful if he was in the lineup. And when we talk about leadership, leadership is not something that I come to you and Brody and I say, you're the leader. That's not, that's oh, no? not, that's not what happens. Right, right. Leadership happens... Quite frankly, it's, it's something that happens in the moment. Yeah. Uh, you say the right thing in the right. moment. You do the right thing in the moment. A player's not going along the same lines and not walking the same path as everybody else right. is on that team. And you walk up to that guy and you say, this is not how we do things. But to put the pin on him and say, you're the leader, right. that's not what happens. That's not what leadership is. Leadership is doing the right things in the right time and having the respect of your players when you say something that they listen.